Welcome back to Off the Beaten Path. Um, this is the end of the season, and I did want to show um, just like the this is these are yellow long necks, but you can see, you know, that I know that there was a golden rainbow kind of uh, fig that was supposed to be different, but I mean they, they color up very similarly, so I, I believe that that's the same. Around the corner, I actually have. Um, I'm so happy, but yet so sad because um, these are Italian 258s. And they're, they don't color up as nice when it's late like this. But you can see, like, the difference between this and, like, a Black Madeira is the fact that Italian 258s, uh, they end up um, ripening in a very short window. So, it, like, if, if we don't get frost in the next couple days, which is very unlikely, but if we, if we don't get it, um, these, most of these will ripen within a couple of days because they're all soft and very close to... To ripening and they're delicious these are in ground these are unprotected you can see it's a very vigorous uh, variant this is one of the Italian 258s you can see they're a really good size they don't color up you can see where that was the side not facing um, but then I mean they're beautiful like it's it's a beautiful fig it's it's extremely like you can see the syrup that's it is absolutely one of my favorites this is uh, one that I have in a pot I also have a bunch or I should, I should say I have a few in the ground as well but this is beautiful. This is the threefold farms, or, or what I call the um, like the variegated Tacoma violet. It's got all the colors. Like it's it's pretty. Like it's very pretty. Um, it even keeps like kind of the yellow and the green while it still turns kind of that red color. And I mean, what, this, this is about right. But I mean, that's that's really pretty. I think. And uh, so when you when you open it up, I mean, it's just a Tacoma violet. That's all. I mean, it has the same Mount Etna flavor, but I think it's really really interesting. Just the color. Um, even it's, I think it's prettier than like Martinica Ramada, uh, which tends to lose its stripes, where this one is a little more uh, resistant to it. I have one over here. You can kind of see that there's, you can't get something for nothing. The one drawback is when you do have the variegation, the sun does burn all the stuff that doesn't have really a lot of chlorophyll to it. Um, but I mean, it's still a very pretty fig, and you know the fact that this could be grown by northern growers is kind of exciting. This is uh, Battaglia Green, and it's ripening now. It's always a later one. The thing that is interesting about Adriatic types is um, they will taste really, really good, you know, even if they are, um, even if the weather's not really cooperating. So if it's 50 degrees, these still taste just about as good as they would in like a September heat. So I, I mean, they're ripening. They've been ripening for a little bit, but this is probably going to be about the end of the end of the line. I, with the restaurants that I send these to, they love them because of the, I mean, it's, it is a very pretty, um, a pretty fig. I mean, it's, the, the restaurants really like them for their pastries because of, of the deep red versus green. The last one I wanted to show is, this is Pellegrino. Um, Long dudes do the same exact thing, but these just ripen on the late side, but a tremendous amount. They're big figs. Um, they're, they just, they seem to ripen towards the end of uh, September. In October, they're just all throughout the month. They're they're ripening, but they're they. What I like about Pellegrino is it does have a resistance to split. I mean, it's, you can see that's honey, and there's a little drop of honey that sort of closes the eye. But this is, I mean, it's a nice 60 gram fig. Um, pretty. It's not like as colorful as dark anyway as some of like the other dark berry figs or even the Adriatics. But um, it is very sweet and it is it is very like jammy. Thanks for watching.